uh, uh, comes from God. And that, uh, I know, blessings brings joy. Yes. That's what I have so far. All right, now we're, we're going to just um, do a brief synopsis of what this Torah portion is about. And I'll start. Um, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but uh, the, the title of the Torah portion is Re'e, which is C. And Moses is again outlining to Israel before they go into the land, or uh, reminding them, I said outlining, reminding them about the rules and regulations God has given them before in the earlier part of the Torah. And in my uh, Torah, it's, the Re'e is divided into four. Uh, five sections. The first is the divine command, um, Deuteronomy 11th chapter 26 to 32. The next part of the central sanctuary, Deuteronomy 12th chapter, verse 1 through 13, verse 1. The third one is false prophets, Deuteronomy 13th chapter, verse 2 through 19. Of food, tithes, and social equity, Deuteronomy 14th chapter, verse 1 through 15th chapter, verse 23, and the Holy Days, Deuteronomy 16th chapter, verse 1 through 17. And again, Moses is just going over uh, the, the, uh, and the divine commands about um, the um, uh, blessing and the curse if they do not do, uh, blessing if they do what God says, the curse if they don't. And then, he makes a, a very important observation or whatever, whatever. He says, take care to observe the commandments. And yet again, I wrote, yet again, Moses reminds them about the consequences of not observing God's commandments. Then we have um, how God wants to be worshipped. He doesn't want to be worshipped as the pagans worship their gods. As a matter of fact, Israel was supposed to destroy all the gods of the pagans when they, when they entered the land. Um, and they aren't supposed to even inquire about the gods once they do that. False prophet, again, if, if you uh, the prophet does not do what God uh, says for him to do, then they are allowed to stone that prophet, to kill that prophet. And they must investigate thoroughly if this so-called prophet says something. Um, then they we have the end. Um, where it talks about the three times when the males are supposed to go up to uh, uh, Jerusalem. Three, uh, Shalosh Ragalayim, and that's a uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of um, uh, Shavuot, and Sukkot. Um, and those are the uh, most important feasts uh, that God has given to us all, to, given to Israel, matter of fact. Um, and that's basically the summation, as I see it, of Re'e. Would anyone else like to summarize it? Okay, the part that I mentioned that was this reoccurring theme that uh, that God will choose a place, a place of God's own choosing. And that was a constant theme in there. One thing I did not, well, maybe I did mention it. and. Uh, God wants us to choose, and that's a free will choice, which opens the door for man to find his own way of of finding God, and and that way by looking for Him or seeking Him or seeing Him, God becomes more precious in His sight. Uh, part of the theme was that the book was that uh, all blessings come from God. Yes. And in this process, Israel is setting up its identity or identifying it itself as a nation that's chosen by God, delivered by God, and will bless the world through it. And the, their first order of business when they go into the land was to cleanse it of, I, I'm going to say, the mindset of paganism, but to get rid of all their idols, as you mentioned earlier. But that was the first order of business. Clean the land, then uh, just get rid of all vestiges of, of paganism and obey, obey the word of God. And that's what I have in summary. 
Yeah. Well, very good. I think we've done a good job. Yeah. Thank you for the summary. And now we'll finish up. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard that could not stand, let my people go. Go now.